This is the lazy man's way to do the solar heater. It can heat up the water up to 160 degrees using about 300 feet of water hoses, some double-sided tape, and a shower liner. I could have spray painted the uh, trailer bed black, but I went the lazy way. I used the black dimple plastic sheet that they use for the foundation waterproofing material. I taped the plastic sheet all the way around using the aluminum foil tape. And I used double sided tape to hold the shower liner in place. Today it was about 60 degrees outside. That's why you see me wearing boots and pants. Okay, the taping job is done. It was easy to put on. The shower liner was a little short, but it'll do the job. And I use a rag to push the shower liner in place. And here it is, the lazy man's way to do water solar heater. Using about 300 feet long of water garden hoses. And requires nothing to hold them down or strap them down. Just lay them in place and they stay put. Three weeks later, the pool was done and using the solar power heater to heat up the pool. Three weeks later, the temperature climbed 30 degrees from 60 degrees to 90 degrees. Which was the perfect opportunity to use the solar water heater. I forgot to spray out the water from the garden hose and it had been sitting in the sun for a little while. So the water temperature read about 5 degrees higher than the tap water temperature. It came out to be about 70 degrees. Let's dump up the water and hook up the solar water heater and see how hot the water can get. Okay, the water is coming out from the solar water heater and it is steaming. What I did not know was the sun was heating up my phone for about two and a half minutes and the phone shut down because it reached the maximum temperature. So I missed the opportunity to capture the moment when the thermometer exploded. You can see the traces of mercury that went up past 120 degrees and got stuck way on the top where you see the label F and C. To address the issue from the sun heating up my phone, I used aluminum foil and a few pieces of tape. Okay, let's redo. Let's dump up the water and let's get the fresh water from the garden hose. This time I remember to spray out the water that had been sitting in the sun. And I bought a digital thermometer so the reading should be more accurate. The water supply from the garden hose read 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's hook up the solar water heater round 2. I'm adjusting and readjusting the water pressure. So the garden hoses for the solar heater don't get coiled up too badly. Remember, I do not have anything to hold them down. No straps, no weights. They were just coiled in place. Besides, the water garden hoses are so easy to work with, I trust them more over the water irrigation tubing that you may have seen some of the YouTubers used to do the solar water heater. I do not know what kind of chemicals, if any, that could leach out from either the garden hoses or the irrigation tubing when they get hot. All I know is I trust the garden hoses more than the irrigation tubing. Here comes the big moment. Let's take a read of what the water temperature is. And my phone hasn't shut down yet. Oh my god, folks, the water reads 160.2 degrees Fahrenheit. That is almost 100 degrees different than the water supply. No wonder why the old pool thermometer exploded. And we're using only water hoses, a shower liner, double sided tape, and a used trailer. There you have it folks. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you made it this far, you are a mighty legend. And thank you for watching.